This is very sad. I would have never expect this to happen. It's unbelievable. Tonight, this grief-stricken community is waiting for any break in the murder of a local barber shop owner gunned down inside his own business. No, no, no. And tonight's vigil, a far cry from the near riot last Friday when word of his killing spread. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorino shows us how Lamar Kennedy became the victim of a life he tried desperately to leave. The memorial outside the barber shop features a balloon, bouquets of flowers, and nearly a hundred lighted candles, all outside the barber shop where the bullets flew on Friday. There is deep sadness for the family of Lamar Kennedy. I'm sad right now. My heart goes out to his family. You know, we all grew up together, and I just pray that this stops. It was a chaotic scene of anger and grief as news spread Friday outside the barber shop where he was gunned down. This was Kennedy's uncle in the red shirt that day, torn up by grief. That's my nephew, man! No! At the vigil, more under control, but still outraged about the murder of a man he said turned his life around. He watched dope dealers. He watched prostitutes. He's seen all of that. He said he didn't want that. As other mourners tried to keep their candles burning this windy evening, he hit a crescendo. He was to me my ghetto superstar. Right. Yes, he right. was. That was my ghetto superstar. Right. Everybody has a ghetto superstar. Somebody look up to somebody. And he was mine. Kennedy recently taped himself rapping about gangs, though his family said he left that life. The theme at the vigil was stop the violence. Changes that have to be made, and I'm going to work with the police department to make sure that we're safe. There were prayers and hymns and words of forgiveness. But to the person that did this, I forgive you, because that's the type of person my brother was. No arrest yet. Police are looking into possible gang retaliation. The funeral is being planned for late this week. Steve Fiorina, 10 News.